Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at Nexus's Motorhomes best selling for the past five years in a row. This is a class C with no bunk over the cab and it gives you three slide outs. This is a 2022 Nexus Viper model 29V. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this Viper and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again, I am super excited to be showing you guys the super popular Viper 29V. It's one of the only class C's out there that actually gives you three slide outs. But before I begin, let's say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everybody! How's it going today? It's going good, you guys. Um, you know, we are here in Fort Myers. Yeah. It's a beautiful day. Yep. I'm excited. Um, it's always nice to see a Nexus. Yes. Uh, guys, we have a brand new store opening. What? Tell me uh, when. RV1. This weekend. This weekend. April 22nd through 24th. Yes, in Charleston, South Carolina. Yes. So we hope to see you guys there. It'll be a good time. Now, when you say we, you mean just me, right? No. I mean we as a team. Yes. You, me, Will, and Jen. Yes. We can't wait to meet everybody and again. maybe the puppies too. We don't know. Again, this, no, you know won't be coming with us, but, but Tucker will be. But uh, again, guys, this weekend, can't wait to see everybody. Andrea, let's begin. Model is Nexus Viper 29V. The actual tip, tip length of this motorhome is about 30 feet, eight inches. This is the Nexus Viper. Now, when you go on Nexus's website, they classify this as a B plus because there's no bunk over the cab. I call it a class C because of how big it is. And it's on a cutaway chassis. Regardless of what you call it, it's an awesome motorhome with three slide outs. Full body paint does come standard on this motorhome and I absolutely love it. This is powered on an E450 chassis, which means it has a 7.3 liter V8. It is a Godzilla engine. 350 horsepower and 468 pound feet of torque. And then right over here on Trey, we do got side cameras, left side and right side. Nice mirrors right here. And then look at these tires, Dre, that are hand cooked. They're the Dynapros. LT225 75 R16. Very nice. And then, Andre, if you back up some, take a look at this paint job. I'm calling this for my New Yorkers out there New York Yankees blue. You know what I'm saying? And then, all my Red Sox fans that just saw this, they're all like, oh, I was about to buy it until I mentioned it was Yankees blue. <laughs> but it really is. Now, check this out. In the non bunk over the cab, notice how there is no seams. It's all a nice one piece of fiberglass. I love that. Frameless windows throughout this motorhome. Right here is your propane tank. Okay, we will have all the specs of the propane right here. Bing! So everybody can see it who's watching on TV. Right over here. Storage. Uh, yep. And here. Nice. And I gotta say, look at this awning. Yeah. It's on the back part of the on, uh, RV. Which so. is a little unique, but that's right. because it's a full slide out right here. Also, Andrea, look at this sticker. Warranted for steel. 12 year structural warranty, six year lamination warranty. I love that. It's one of the strongest warranties in the industry. And part of the reason why is because what, what Nexus does is most manufacturers are using aluminum structure. They're using high strength, low alloy steel, which is 72% stronger, which means 72% safer than aluminum. And they also use Asdel. Asdel is a green based material that will never delaminate on you. So you won't get that delamination in the walls. What's also really cool is they're using this not just on the outside, but on the inside as well. So you won't get that formaldehyde smell. Very nice. Coming on down the side here. Andre, look at this. Full TV on the outside. Oh, nice. Yes, ma'am. Very cool. Got electrical outlet there. We got more storage. Yep, yep. And a little bit more storage here. Very nice. Yes. Coming around the back, we actually have a fiberglass rear cap, like a lot of the higher end motorhomes on um, nice tail like design. You know, I, I like the metal um, around the lights. Backup camera already on and there is uh, does have a hitch. The hitch is rated for 5000 pounds and there is a ladder to get up on the one piece fiberglass roof. Andrea, let's go up there and take a look. All right, Matt, hold on. Here we go now. It's hot. Yes, it is. 
Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece fiberglass roof, one air conditioning unit. Right there's the wine guard digital antenna, and you can see that it is. Uh, have the stations for the Max Air fans. Here we go. Two steps. Last step. Oh, great. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesman's taking his fat ass up on the roof? Showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. And then finishing up, Andrea. Right over here is where our tank fill is. Dry camp, city water. Okay. 30 amp power plug right there. Inverters in there. Yep. Oh, an outdoor shower. Oh, potable water fill as well. Potable. Potable. Outdoor shower. I love how they continued the paint. Paint looks nice. Oh. Nexus always does a good job on their paint, though. They're hard in the paint. <laughs> what? Nothing. Was I supposed to get that? You're supposed to say Waka. Oh, I don't know that. It's okay. Sorry. Right there, that's where we dump our black and gray tank. Hashtag Waka, if you know what I mean when I say hard in the paint. Right here, we do got gasoline fill, water heater. I love it. Look, they're painting the water heater as well. I love that they do that feature. More over. storage. Yep, more storage here. These are all locked. And then right over here, Andrea, this is a generator. It is an Onan 4000 generator. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Okay. And what's our cargo carrying capacity, Matt? 1476. Wow. Check out the inside. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so, wow, it's dark in here. So going in here, you guys, the slide is the slides are in. And I'm walking up front. And, you know, with posing slides, it's still a decent walkway here opens up a lot more here you can definitely open the fridge coming back here you can definitely get into the bathroom and you can use the bed with the slide in which is good yes and andrea yes while the slide outs are coming out let's take a quick moment to thank the sponsor of this episode this episode is sponsored by lippard this week is National Volunteer Week. As Lippard Brand Ambassadors, we are encouraging everyone to do their part in volunteering their community. The Lippard Cares Initiative truly believes that business can be a force for good. Lippard gives back over 100,000 volunteer hours per year. This week, we are volunteering at Sea Island Habitat for Humanity. We hope everyone can join by giving back to their community. If you do, please use hashtag Lippert Cares so we can see all the amazing work that you're doing. Thank you so much to Lippert for sponsoring this video and doing good for the community. Let's continue the video. Andrea, one of the most spacious Class C's on the market today. Again, opposing sofas, I love that. You Let's mean get opposing uh, slides. Opposing slides. I love that even more. Let's get started up front here. And sorry everybody about the AC. It's hot. But guys. we got it blasting. Feels amazing in here, Andrea. Right up here is the cockpit area. Power windows. Nice steering wheel. This is gonna tell you everything. Look at this. You can hook up your Android phone for mirroring. Wow. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You can see what's going on on your left side, your right side, reverse side. Right over here, we do got cup holders. Look at the nice seats, how they match. And then Andrea, hey, please take your time because it feels great up here. Oh, it does. Wow. It's actually pretty comfortable, everybody. Yes, yes. It's pretty comfortable. Um, seat does go, oh, that's nice. Yes. Ooh. And it actually can go almost that far back with the slide out in. And I don't think these swivel. Um, no, they do yeah. not. They do not. Okay. Right here we got this. And Andre, just, Andre, you do the rest of the review because I'm, I'm comfortable right here. Okay, so above we don't have a bunk. Nope. We have a TV, you guys, with storage. Which is kind of strange because we're always used to seeing the bunk, right? Well, yeah, it's not strange. It's different. Um, there's lights back there. Yeah. No, I like strange because we're going to be in this. Well, and... Matt, you are strange. Hey, what's that <laughs> supposed to mean? No, but a lot of people are going to look at this and they're going to see this and they're going to be like, oh, I would never do that. But yet there's going to be other people that would say, oh, well, I would never have the bunk yes. in the cab. And that's what I like. I like the variety. Absolutely. Don't call me strange. Right here, Andrea, look at this. Very nice cabinetry above. It's very dark in here. 
It is dark I in here. I think they need to add another row of lights. I can concur with that. Here's the balances, okay? We do got privacy blinds. Here's the pattern. Denied. Denied. Sorry. It is what it is. Across over here, we well, have- Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yes. I still gotta show this. Oh, yeah, I'm Andrea. sorry, Matt. We can't forget about it's the best the part. It is, but let, 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 let me show you this. This is definitely one of the most comfortable It is. Ones. It is plush, it is nice. So many times these manufacturers just put like a little cushion and I'm like, yo, I'm trying to sit. Right, and look at the arms on it. Like, exactly. it's very comfortable. And I believe it's a trifold. Nice. And we're gonna do it, you know why, Andrea? Cause it's America. Yes, ma'am. All right, look at that. Wow, Matt, you're a pro at this. Well, Andrea, I do what I can. <laughs> I don't know, this, how many sofas do you think we've uh, pulled out? Very nice. And then those cushions do go in the so we center. We got a nice trifle. Yes, ma'am. Not bad at all. Not bad. It is. I have seen worse and felt worse. And remember, Andre, at the end of the day, it is for the non paying customers. Yes. So. But even they will be happy on that because that's a pretty comfortable trifle. Right. But you don't, but Andre, you don't want them too happy. <laughs> you yeah. want them to get their own RV so they can travel next to you, not in with you. Then we got more cabinets above here. Very nice. Nice dinette. And that does drop down to make a bed too. Hold wow. On, wait a minute. Yeah, it does. Look. It has the table that goes down and it has the lip right there. What's wrong, Matt? Are Andrea, you confused? I need to pause for America because I need to go back into the archives and look up something. So let's cut. You guys see that, America? They don't change the dinette on us, which I I understand, but it's just like that was the uh, that was his favorite. That was my favorite part about it. Now it's just a normal dinette. Uh oh. No storage under there. What the heck's going on? I gotta check the other side now too. Oh no. Womp. Well, Andrea, all good things must come to an end. Uh, I actually really hate that, to be honest with you. Um, just is what it is. Okay, show us the kitchen. Okay, I'm gonna start over here. Um, we got a convection microwave. Yep. I got a little lily pad or... Yes, that's yeah. a lily pad of power. <laughs> uh, look, they have backsplash all the way around. Interesting. Um, we've got the three burner Dometic cooktop. Very nice. And let's see, is this a drawer? Nice size drawer. And you got one under here too. Wow. wow. Okay, not a lot of counter space in here. Got a cabinet with mm -hmm. adjustable shelves and this big residential style sink. Sheesh. Um, with the next here you got the LED lights around yes ma'am and we've got three drawers here very nice definitely need more counter space in here I would say so and then we've got the Dometic uh, compressor refrigerator I love that residential style yes ma'am okay and then Matt we're coming through we're going through we're going all through first and we'll foremost. Go first uh -huh. split bathroom yep radius shower never have liked it never well liked it it is okay. what it is, Andrea. And, and look, guys, here's the bathroom door for your privacy. It has yep. that little magnet thing there. You would just close it like this when you want to take a shower. Yes, ma'am. And then here is the bathroom. Show us what you're seeing. Uh, we got a medicine cabinet right here. Yes. Um, little sink and cabinet here. Fan, and then you got the, the toilet on a pedestal. Okay. Cool. Let's see. Oh, your feet are swinging. My feet are your swinging. Feet. <laughs> My feet are swinging. Porcelain toilet, good size bathroom, not a prime pooping position. Womp, womp, womp. 
Okay, let's continue on with the bedroom. All right, so we got the queen size bed here. Also on a slide out, very impressive. Yes. Lots of storage over there, Matt. Yes. There's a window here. And then check out all the storage over here. Yes, we got a wardrobe there. Yep. Got the TV we have storage. Love that. Cabinets there. And Tons. then uh, six drawers under here. Sheesh. Which is pretty good. That's Just one more than five, but less than careful. seven. Open one of those little yes. drawers though. And then you've got another wardrobe over here. Yes. And let's see if there's storage under the bed, Matt. I like the headboard. No. I like the headboard. No. <laughs> and no. We got no the tank under there. Correct. Okay. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the Viper. We've seen some things that they've changed. Um, now, you guys aren't going to want to go because I'm going to tell everybody the price sh shortly. But first, we have to give everybody three things we love about this unit and three things we don't like about it. Andrea, what do we Let's do first? Let's do three things we like about it. Okay, we'll do that first. I'll go first. Do you mind? Because I, I want to go no, first. No, I want to go first. Ten four, you go first. Please. Matt. Of course, I know. I'm joking with I'm you. I'm gonna go with the, I like the exterior paint mm. along with the Asdell and yes. the safety of this motorhome. And the steel cage construction. Yes. That's what I like. 100% agree with you, Andrea. And you made me forget something, what? which I'm gonna add. Also, in the ducting, it is metal duct work just like a house. Nice. That's number one, Andrea. Number two, I have to say the three slide outs. Yes. Huge. I love it, guys. If you need square footage in a Class C motorhome, there's not a better motorhome out there on the market today. It's going to give you the best square footage. It's fantastic and awesome, and I love that. So that's number two. And then number three is gonna be a combo, Andrea. I love this sofa. This is plush and comfortable, and they did a kick butt job on this, but also what you're leaning against. Yes, the refrigerator. That refrigerator is huge and awesome and kick butt. Well, Andre, that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. Do you mind if I go first? Go ahead. Andrea. I know. They took away my favorite dinette. Wow. Truthfully, it was the most comfortable. It was nice. They had the storage underneath. And I get it. And Dave Lent's going to call me and be all upset with me. And I get it. And it's not personal. I really like that dinette. And the fact that they took... And, and, and listen... There's nothing wrong with that dinette. No, but that dinette was so comfortable but I liked the other and dinette. the storage was nice. I just like the other dinette. Nothing's wrong with this dinette. I just like the other dinette. Okay. Well, wouldn't be a show if we didn't have three dislikes. Oh, you know, we gotta know. do it. Somebody's gotta do it, Matt. I know, but when I like it, you shouldn't make it you shouldn't make it go away. Alright, so I'm gonna give that my is dislike. number one. Alright, uh, I do have two, but I'm I'm going to go with this one right here. Well, no, give us both of them, except that, truthfully, truthfully, that's the only dislike I had. I don't like that, um, okay, so when you're back here, you only have this one door. Yep. But if you're in the shower, you don't have any privacy right here either. Got it. So it's kind of weird. Mm. And there's no curtain thing right there right. No, beyond the wall? No, there's Got no curtain it. thing. Okay, that's number two. Sorry. That's a very valid point. And then uh, my number three is, is going to be that there is no counter space at all. Yeah, very small um, kitchen. You know, I, I think I could deal with the kitchen. There's I a lot just, of things, yeah. I just couldn't deal with no counter space. I get it, Andre. I get it. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Well, Andre, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, burr, burr. And the MSRP is on the windshield. And, Andre, we're going to do something different for this motorhome. MSRP on this motorhome here is $170,000. $154, Andrea. Wow. That is for this motor home here. This one in Fort Myers. We have it sale price over $35,000 off. Wow. To $134,995. Wow. That's a great sale price. And Andrea, if somebody's interested in this motor home, please go to mattsrvreviews.com, fill out the contact tab. We're gonna get you with one of our team members here at the Fort Myers store. One, to hopefully get you an even better price than that, no promises, but to get you a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the RV industry. And let's say you do miss out on this one, it's okay, we do sell these nationwide. Always reach out to Matt's RV Reviews if you're looking at a Nexus, and we're here to help. Andrea, is there anything you'd like to say? Yes, hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. 
Um, let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Yeah. Nexus, they're big fans, and they do watch the videos and they read the comments. So please leave your feedback, everybody. Yes. Uh, don't forget, I hope to see you guys there at the grand opening this weekend at uh, RV1 in Charleston, South Carolina. Yeah, bring your lemonade and iced tea, April honey. We're going 20, to the south. April 22nd to April 24th. Yes, ma'am. We hope to see you. We hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Andre, are you going to wear a swanky dress and one of those swanky hats? If I'm in South Carolina, why not? Why the heck not? Hey, me, black polo and khakis. <laughs> all day, every day, every part of the country. I like, I like hats. Yes. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see you next time.